I'm Taylor from NetBeansTutorials.com, and this is Hello World. What we hope to accomplish at the end of this session is we're going to make a program in the NetBeans IDE using Java to create an application that's going to speak to the user through the output window and say, Hello World. Now how we do this is we simply open up NetBeans, File, New Project, Java, Java Application, Next, then we have to name our program. Well, this project is going to be called Hello World 1, because I apparently already have one named Hello World. Alright, now what that did was it created a project tree on your left. NetBeans has a nice navigator pane for your projects. In Hello World 1, you have your source packages, your main source package under here, and uh, the Hello World 1.java. Now, Hello World 1.java contains our main class, which is over here. This is all our source code. Don't be frightened, guys. <laughs> it's a lot, I know. Um, but it's very simple. Basically, when you make this new class, you have three lines of text. Text. Package, which refers to the source package. Public class, hello world one, which tells it that it's going in here. And then your public static void, I'm sorry, public static void main string arguments, which is from here. Okay? But all this code is in here. This, again, this goes to the source package, this goes to the public class, and this is just the the command lines that you're going to address in the program. Now, for this program, again, we want to speak to the user and say hello world using this system output window down here. How we're going to do that is we're going to type system dot, well, dot out dot Wow. <laughs> dot print line. And then we're going to do parentheses, quotes, hello world. Semicolon. I'm sorry, ending parentheses and then semicolon. And make sure you get your quotes in there. And that's what that should look like. And now, what this, this line right here, system.out.print line, that's going to make this appear. The default format for that is system dot out dot print parentheses quotes your text here. At the end of every command line that you put in your mainstream arguments area, you will need to have a semicolon. In the next video, we'll cover variables and the scanner property. What that'll do is you can save user input from the output window as a variable and refer to it in your code. Click on the next video pop-up now to go to the next video to cover that.